family, it's Chrissy from Homes and Things. And in today's edition, I'm going to be cooking for you. So it's a simple meal. We're going to have some lima beans for dinner. Either um, they'll be ready for tonight, but it's really for Sunday. And I'm either going to do some baked or air fried chicken. I'm kind of leaning toward the air fryer because the last time I cooked them, they were really, really good. And so you're going to see me cook this simple meal. My husband and I are trying to get healthier and use less sodium. So um, I am started using Mrs. Dash. And I wanted to show you the Mrs. Dash that I um, purchased. They'll be linked below in the description box. The first one is um, chicken grilling blends from Mrs. Dash. Of course, you know Mrs. Dash is salt free. We have onion and herb seasoning blend. This is the garlic and herb seasoning blend. Lemon pepper seasoning blend. And this last one is the Italian medley seasoned blend. So I tried to get some flavors for profiles that I use all the time. And uh, yeah, you'll be seeing me cooking with them. Okay, so let's get into cooking these lima beans. Now, I already, if you, as you've seen in the previous clip, boiled some water and put it into my lima beans. So while they're soaking, I'm going to start cooking the smoked turkey that we're going to use to season the pot. So let me clean them and then we'll put them on. I didn't want to rinse away the flavor, so I only rinsed them once. Now this pot is already hot, so I need to go ahead and add, add my chicken stock. This first box is six cups and it is the Harvest Farms Organic Chicken Bowl. So normally you need about eight. I have a two I used a two cup pack of large lima beans from Ingles. That's the Ingles brand. Normally you need six to eight cups of chicken broth. I'm using 12 because I used uh, a bigger pack than I normally would use. So I'm doing two six, two six cup containers. The second one is the Ingles brand reduced sodium chicken broth. So, you know, sometimes we don't always have the same brand. Already, you already have one box and you go get another one and you see one you want to try. So that was the situation. Another reason that I'm using 12 is because with eight cups, I normally use one leg, but I'm doing two legs today because I want it nice and meaty. Now I'm gonna let that cook for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer on the stove here for 30 minutes. So as you can see the, the timer, I just set it for 30 minutes. It's gonna start counting down. We're gonna let that cook for 30 minutes. And when the timer goes off, we'll take a look. Okay, so <clears throat> that's it. <laughs> Let me cut the timer off. Okay, so the timer is off. It's been 30 minutes since the uh, we started cooking the smoked turkey. Now, let me show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it's still whole. It's nowhere near where we want it to be, but you can see all the juice and flavor just simmering around in that water. So what we're gonna do now, the beans are nice and swole, and they also have been soaking for 30 minutes. And you can soak them longer, you can soak them overnight, but I put boiled water in them. And I put the lid on here airtight so they can go ahead and do what I needed them to do. So now I'm gonna drain them and rinse them and then we'll add them to the pot. Okay, so I drain and rinse in cold water these beans. 
we'll go ahead and put them in the pot and give them a good stir. I'm probably gonna cook these beans about, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let them come to a boil and then I'm gonna put them on a medium high heat and just let them do what they do. Okay, so now that it's come to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and season my pot. Again, the idea is not to cook with a lot of salt. I haven't even opened these, so let me get them open. Smells so good. I'm gonna add a little garlic and herb and a little onion and herb. I'm gonna add a lot of black pepper. And this is sea salt, which we prefer over regular salt. which I know it sounds like it's going off for a long time, but it, it's grinding it up. It's not expelling a lot. And then y'all remember I chopped up all of these bell peppers and onions for that meatloaf and this is what I have left over. So we're gonna put in that pepper and onion um, pack. I wish you could smell the aroma coming off of those beans. And we are going to let that cover, bring it to another boil and then cut it because it was boiling just now. And then cut it down to medium high. Now, here's what you don't have to do. You don't have to add the onion and bell pepper. I do that for flavor, for seasoning. But it's really up to you. Also, you can add a lot more different seasonings. Um, you can add uh, garlic salt, onion salt, whatever you like to season your pot. But I'm going to let the smoked turkey and the few seasonings that I did use flavor this pot. So we're going to let this cook down maybe till it boils and then we're going to put it on medium heat for about 30 minutes. Thank mm -hmm. you.